morning and welcome to another video message. May it be a blessing to you. Today I want to talk to you about finding peace in the midst of chaos. Peace is defined in the dictionary as freedom from disturbance, tranquility, also is defined as a state or period in which there is no war or a war has ended. In the Bible, it talks about peace. Specifically, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 3, it says, Thou will keep him in peace, perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusts in thee. If we move to Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving. Present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And finally, in Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33, it states, For God is not a God of disorder, but a God of peace. There are many, many more in the Bible that talk about peace but those are the ones that I've identified for this message. For it is those scriptures that remind us that in the midst of our worries, cares, and concerns, that we must give it to him and understand even in the midst of times where it seems to be no hope, we can come to that place of prayer and as the songwriter says, you have a little talk with Jesus and you tell him all about your troubles. He will hear your faintest cry and he will answer by and by. The world is ever changing and we sometimes wonder why we must or why we have to see these things that are happening that we feel is wrong or unacceptable. Sometimes we are already feeling beaten by our own storm. And then to turn on the TV and see a worldly storm, it sometimes can be too much. Financial storms where we see that the bills are long and the money is short, domestic storms, where home sweet home may not be that way right now. Problems on the job where you feel you may not be valued, even though you know you may give 150% of your best efforts. But we must understand that even in these trying times that we must cast our cares, concerns, fears, and worries on him because he cares for us. Taking the time to just say, Lord, I give it all to you. Let your will be done. I choose peace in you. That is for me what finding peace in the midst of chaos is, that I hope you will find as well. God cares for you, me, and everyone who trusts and believes in him. Let us pray. Lord, our God, we thank you for showing us in your word that even in the midst of trouble, we can find peace to calm our hearts and minds. God, you continue to renew our strength, even when we don't feel like we can go on. Lord, please continue to protect those that are trying to protest peacefully, that they may not be grouped in with those who want to take advantage of a situation. Please help those in power use the knowledge and understanding to guide, protect, and heal those who are hurting. May the communities across our nation regain trust and hope that their voices are being heard 
and that one day we will see a better society moving into an area of great peace and no war. In your name we pray. Amen. I want to thank you as always for tuning in to these messages. And until next time, stay safe, peaceful, and be blessed.